And just like that, I have filmed my last interview here in this dorm room. It has been a wild journey, and I just want to say thank you all for your ongoing support of this channel. You know, years ago, I came into this very room, Culbertson 403, uh, for, I didn't even do the numbers right there, um, and I had already started doing videos, but then when I got here, I started doing four videos a week and if any of you are around from that time when I was doing like quotes of the week and verses of the week and let's chat videos and all of that I, I would love for you to leave a comment and I would like to personally thank you just for your enduring support but the video started just on my bed right over here shooting underneath and uh, proceeded to just change over time it was in this room that I filmed my reflections on going to a Catholic Mass that later soared over a hundred, it might be close to 200,000 views now, I really don't even know where it's at. Um, and I remember sitting here in this, at this desk when the channel hit a, a thousand subscribers and just being mind blown that 1,000 people had subscribed to what I was doing at Gospel Simplicity. and then I began doing these interviews and from this chair here and with my laptop sitting on this sketchy setup I have interviewed some of the most incredible theologians um, that I could have ever dreamed of just now I finished talking to one of the drafters of the joint declaration on the doctrine of justification arguably one of the most significant theological documents produced in the last 50 years and it's so humbling to be able to have done all of this. My time at Moody has been such a blessing. You know, I came in to Moody thinking, I want to be the next mega church pastor. And to those of you that follow my channel, you might laugh at that a bit. And it's fine. I, I'm laughing with you. It, it's funny to look back on that and, and see those days of wanting to be the, the coolest pastor and studying all of these megachurch pastor sermons and how could I dissect them and then my time at Moody led me deeper and deeper into my love of theology fully letting me completely nerd out on the most uh, the minutia of theology but also the, the wonder and glory of it. it it was at Moody that I was given this image of, of being a theologian who does theology with an open Bible before him on his knees with his hands open to receive from God in the church with the with the voices of those from church history ringing in your ears doing theology in and for the life of the church and it was at moody that i began to be interested in church history writing my research writing uh, paper my freshman year here and that year you got to write a research paper on anything you wanted and i said i'm gonna write on the church fathers i didn't even know who they were at that point but it just sounded interesting to me and i had this hunch that protestants could learn from them and little did i know that that spark would then turn into just a full research love of church history and it was at Moody that I was introduced to medieval theology and that I was able to be mentored by a medieval historian and take on the project of learning from Catherine of Siena and working on multiple long form writing samples on Catherine and just falling in love with the world of the medieval church and its, it's foreignness but also it's, it's draw to me, and it was at Moody that I got to make some of the most amazing relationships of my life and be able to sit around tables with people who are truly brilliant people, full of love for God, who want to do theology in a way that blesses the church and have inspired me to be a better theologian, and I sit on the edge of my seat waiting to see what they will do. This has been a wild journey. I want to thank you all so much. You all, through especially my patrons, through their generosity, have allowed me to make this the absolute best part-time job any college student could ever ask for. You allowed me to pursue my passions, to seek out these conversations that I thought needed to be had, and be able to spread them to an audience larger than I could have ever imagined. Thank you all so much. There's so many things, you know, I wish I could say to, to my earlier moody self. And I think I was able to do a lot of wonderful things here. And I, I think there's a lot of things that, you know, maybe looking back, you'd do differently. Maybe I'll close this. I don't want to make this recap uh, needlessly long. 
But I remember my freshman year, right before I came, I was talking with a mentor of mine, Jonathan Moynihan, actually from Mosaic, the church I recently uh, toured. And he said, man, I wish you all the best at Moody, but promise me you won't get so lost in the books that you overlook people. And for years I had that up on my desk here. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure I always got that right. You know, if I, I could go back, I think I would tell him, you know, yes, your schoolwork matters so much, and I know you're going to apply yourself to it, and you're going to love it. You're a bookworm, and I, I know that your YouTube channel matters, and you have no idea how much it's going to blow up, and that's going to bring with it incredible highs and great lows that you are not prepared for. And I know you want to be the best at that. I know you want to, to serve people through that, but, but don't overlook people. And I, I think, you know, there, there's been days that I, I, I've traded people for books or for this channel and it's allowed me to be where I am and I'm so grateful for that but but maybe if you're watching this and, and you're getting ready to go into college I think the the biggest advice I could give you and that I would give myself is, is to, to keep that note up here and, and to remember that that ultimately don't lose sight of people don't lose sight of your relationship with God don't let yourself know more about God than you know God intimately and um, enjoy it. it it went so fast it was a blessing. I am grateful for Moody. I came in a different student than I am leaving, and I think that's a success, not a failure. I, I think the Moody ha has shaped me, changed me. I'm probably not the perfect image of a Moody student, but I think that the goal of a college shouldn't be to create just carbon copies of a bunch of the same people, but to allow people to grow and learn and expand their thinking, grow their horizons of who they're engaging with him and what they think um, is is possible theologically and to just continue to have a drive and hunger to learn. And Moody has allowed me to do that. And for that, I am grateful. And I'm grateful for all of you on this journey. And it's it's a bittersweet end as I record the, that last interview and then this reflection. But thank you all. And thank you to Moody. And as they say, God bless the school that D.L. Moody found it.